Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to give yourself a pedicure. In this simple video tutorial, I will be going over the basic steps that you can use to give yourself a pedicure. If you want to make your feet look better, feel better, smell better, then this is the video for you. Let's get right into the video. Um, you're going to need a few things, and obviously some of these are optional, but I would recommend that you use at least these. And there are more that you can use, but this is a quick and simple pedicure. You're going to need a nail clipper, and preferably one that has something like this on it that can pick out the underside of your nails as well. You're going to need a nail file to smooth everything down. You're going to need a foot file. These are really cheap. You can purchase them um, at any place that sells nail clippers will probably sell one of these too. Really, really useful. They last a super long time. You're going to need uh, potentially a buzzer depending on how much hair you have on your toes and on your foot. Uh, and then you're going to need your favorite cream that you can use. Uh, I generally use one of these, but whatever, any cream works well. You don't have to get a specific foot cream. Take it from me, you can get any cream that works. Any cream that feels good will, will definitely do a good job at making your feet nice and smooth. First step, get your nail clippers. Now you'll notice these are uh, bigger nail clippers than usual. You don't want your little fingernail clippers, the small ones. You want the bigger ones like this, okay? And what you want to do is just get a rough shape on your toenails, okay? Don't get them too, don't cut them too short because then you might get some pain when you are wearing your, wearing your shoes. Um, if you, uh, if you are, you know, playing sports or anything like that or going for a run, you know, you might get some pain. So clip your toenails, avoid going all the way into the sides. Sorry about that. Avoid going all the way into the sides. People do this very bad. You, you end up getting hangnails and those can be quite painful. So I'll do my best to get everything on camera. Okay. Once you get a rough shape like that, move on to the next toenail. Just like this, okay? Now, some of my toenails actually already cracked off, so there's not much length to them. Uh, and I'm not even gonna lie, uh, a couple of them I picked because they were really long and they were bothering me at the, at the time, so I ended up picking them off. But you wanna just get a rough shape on your toenails. I'm really doing my best to get everything on camera, sorry about that. Um, I clip my, with my right hand, um, and sorry, sometimes I end up blocking the view, but I'm basically just using the uh, toenail clippers to get a rough shape just like this right over here. Now, if you are like me where you have a rather small pinky toenail, you gotta be careful because there's not much to clip, not much nail to clip on this right here, but uh, do your best to trim it down. Um, let's just, sorry about, once again, sorry about the camera view, but I mean, for the most part, you should have a good idea of how to clip your nails off. There's just one little piece right here that I have to get to. Just gonna try and get the toenail clippers under there, just like that. Okay, so now that we have clipped the toenails, okay? You see they're all over there, gotta clean that up most definitely. Next thing you wanna do is take your nail file. Uh, sorry, before that. <laughs> you wanna take this little piece inside of the nail clippers and just use this to dig out any, um, to dig out anything uh, beneath your toenails. Now for me, I always get a lot of, um, stuff built up like a lot of like lint from my socks built up right over here so i know for a fact that i'm gonna have to take this and kind of get behind there to pick out that lint just like that um there you go so for the most part it should be rather easy you just use this little tool sort of get around the skin and beneath the toenails pick anything out i always just like to run underneath each toenail just very slightly you don't want to go too hard with this thing because you can easily, you know, uh, you can easily uh, remove some of the skin beneath the toe, which you need to hold the toenail in place. It keeps everything nice and smooth. Um, but you know, you want to use it, but but don't. You're not digging or anything like that. Okay, just like that. All you got to do is just run it underneath the toenail. There's also a spot right here where it looks like there's some lint. Uh, probably be, it seems like it's the outer portions, obviously, of my foot that end up accumulating the lint. So I'm gonna just try and get that out. Just like that, we're gonna try one more time. All right, so what I'm gonna do there, there's a little piece of skin hanging off and I wanna get rid of it. So just so it doesn't uh, scrape against my sock. So I'm gonna just use the nail clippers to sort of get that out, just like that. Okay, there we go, we're good to go. So now that we've uh, clipped our toenails and we've cleaned underneath our toenails, we're gonna use the nail file. Most nail files are gonna have a coarse side and a fine side. Um, what you wanna do is just, I just like going like this. Okay, don't, don't go like this, you don't wanna go like that. Because what that's gonna do is that's gonna really uh, wear down the top of your nail and thin it out. You wanna kinda go like this, 
in a rough sort of around the toenail motion, just like that, okay? When it feels smooth, run your finger over, and when it feels smooth, you're good to go. If you don't do this part, no matter how short your toenails are, you're gonna end up slicing through your socks. You're gonna get holes in your socks galore, okay? Um, so it doesn't, you need to do this part, I'll tell you why, because uh, like I said, you need them to be nice and, and, and smooth and not sharp. So just go around the toenail just like that. Now if you have a toenail that's a little bit of, a little bit extra sharp like this one in here, because my pinky toenail is a little bit smaller, sorry it's hard for me to keep my leg like this, <laughs> um, because it's a little bit smaller it ends up having a point on it, so I give this one a little bit of extra filing, okay? Like just a couple of extra passes with the nail file, just like that. Make sure all of them are smooth, good to go. Okay, so now we've taken care of the toenails, okay? Next what we're gonna do, if you want to, is you're gonna take your buzzer, like this, okay? And uh, you, you can, if you desire to, you can sort of trim down the hair on your toes. It's up to you. I like to do it, I don't do it every single time. I probably do this once every six months, more in the summer when I'm gonna wear sandals and stuff. Take your buzzer. Just, all you gotta do is like that, you get rid of the hair, it, like there's really nothing crazy. You can even just do it quickly to thin out the hair. Okay, just like that. I, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do my other foot quickly as well, because I don't wanna forget to do my other foot. And when I, you know, when I do my other foot off video, um, I don't wanna forget to buzz the hairs, because then uh, it's gonna look weird only having hair on one, one foot. So that's simple, you can buzz off the hair here too, it's up to you, I just, there's more of something simple that I do just to clean everything up. Some people will even take a razor and shave the hair, that's fine, it's your personal preference. Um, last but not least, you wanna take your foot file, okay? Right here, you wanna use it to scrape off all of the dry skin that you have on the foot, okay? Now I've already done my heel previously, so um, I made a separate video about, about how I keep my heels nice and soft, so, I'll just do that quickly, but for the most part, you're gonna scrape off your whole foot, right? And there's a coarse side and a fine side. Start with the coarse side. You can see I have quite a bit of, of buildup over there. Sorry, I, I hope this is not a little too much for your viewing. Um, but you can see I have quite a bit of buildup. So use the coarse side, okay? You wanna grind it down. You, I don't know if you can see this, but there's just tons of, of dust coming off. And if you, if you do this on a regular basis, your foot will never get to be that bad. I have neglected my feet for quite a while now. I've been doing a lot of uh, cleaning of the floors in our new house. So, you know, my feet are constantly wet, constantly dry and cracking, especially my toe area. But you wanna sort of clean it up, okay? And then you wanna use the fine side, okay? So once you're done with the coarse side, you wanna use the fine side. Now check out the difference. First of all, you can see how much dust is over there, how much skin dust is over there, but check out the difference already. With just a quick minute or two, okay, with just a quick minute or two of filing with a foot file, you can really clean it up and make it look amazing. Just like that, okay? Also, I have some cracking right here on the sole because I've been walking many kilometers a day, which is a good thing, but let's clean it up. There's some skin that's peeling off. Let's get rid of it like that. Once you're done, feel your foot. If it feels nice and smooth, then you're good to go, okay? Wipe your foot off. Get your favorite cream right here, like that. You don't need a ton. You probably need that much for your whole foot, okay? And put it on your foot. It's gonna allow it to feel awesome. It's gonna soften up the skin, and it's going to just moisturize the foot. When you're done, your foot is gonna feel amazing, it's gonna look amazing, it's gonna smell amazing, and that's it. There are other things you can do to give yourself a pedicure, um, but for the most part, that is the basics. Those are the basics. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. <laughs> Thanks for watching.